Well, I do not even use the term African-American. I use the term Africans because that's what we are. We are Africans in America. There's nothing American about us. Our history has only been a history of struggle in America. We are the only ethnic group in America who have to shed our blood to make reform. To get the vote, we must shed our blood. To get our children to school, we must shed our blood. To get on a bus and sit where we want, we must shed our blood. To even get in a filthy five and ten cent store, we must shed our blood. So I don't see how we could be American. We're Africans in America struggling against American capitalism. And only until it's destroyed will we enjoy the rights that everyone else is speaking of. Human progress does not stand still. It moves. We came here as Africans. One of the first organizations we had fighting for us is known as the Free African Society. The very first independent organization we had in this country was the church. It was known as the African Methodist Episcopalian Church. So from Africans, our oppressor has changed us to colored, to Negro, to this, to that. We understand it's a step. Coming to black had a powerful point because the point was that we were oppressed because of this color of our skin, and this was racism. But this fight is not just a fight over the color of our skin. A fight for power is a fight for land. When Mr. Llewellyn speaks about uh, power, he's talking about land. Our land is Africa. America is not our land. It belongs to the American Indians, and we have a right to stand and take a moral struggle with them. The error of the thinking here is that most people think that Africans in America came here just like other immigrant groups did. All other immigrants came to America expecting a better way of life. We started in hell, which was a slave ship, and we're still in hell. This incorrect assumption makes it appear as if we've made a contribution with our culture. Our culture has been trampled upon, not the others. Any contribution we've made to America is the test of the strength of our culture in spite of this oppression. We are Africans, and that's exactly where we're going. In your view, is that where you end it? Is that's that where, where it stops? Where the, the, content, the content was African. The label has been changed to confuse us. If we came as Africans, how do we end up as Americans? How do we well, end up as... I, you know, let, let, uh, I would wait. beg to differ you that my, my ancestors came here in a slave boat. They didn't. They came from the island of Jamaica, and they came on their own because they thought it was a better place well, to be came, in Jamaica. They came to Jamaica. They came as slaves to Jamaica. Because I was born in well, Trinidad. That's where the slaves dropped them. We're all Jamaica, slaves. Right. We're all right. slaves. We can't solve this one. Jamaica. Or, who, did you decide to drop in Jamaica? The white man dropped you in Jamaica and brought you to Mississippi. Right. So you don't define yourself by the enemy? No, I define myself as the fighting places where I'm at. Right. Where I used to be, or where I thought I so was. You were fighting on the slave ship. I? So if you're fighting no, no. on the slave ships, we fought on the slave ships. We fought on the slave ships. Did you call yourself right. a water?